Welcome to our day one coverage of the highly anticipated Green Valley College Foundation Incorporated's Intramurals 2023. My name is Jan Lester Bagos, a second year BS at English major student, and together with my team, we'll be bringing important stories to light in relation to the said event. The event, which began on February 26th, was one of the most significant celebrations of sports, literature, and social cultural activities on the school's calendar. The Game of Thrones inspired theme brought excitement and enthusiasm to the participants and spectators alike, as seven houses were assigned based on the different colleges in the institution. The CRTC represented House Greyjoy, School of Education represented House Stark, Integrated Basic Education represented House Baratheon, School of Technology represented House Lannister, School of Hospitality and Tourism represented House Martel, School of Business represented House Targaryen, and School of Criminology represented House Arryn. The assigned houses had their own respective banners, colors, and symbols that truly represented their identities. They competed in various sports, literary, and social cultural competitions, showcasing their skills and strengths. This year's Intramurals was indeed a remarkable event, filled with great energy and camaraderie among the participants and supporters. Last year's Intramural were unlike any other, as they marked the return of the event after a challenging year. The organizers, especially the Supreme Student Council, made all the necessary arrangements to ensure the safety of the students while still providing an opportunity to showcase their abilities. With fewer restrictions post-pandemic, the students were finally able to come together and celebrate as a community once again. Throughout the week, the students participated in various sports, literary, and social cultural competitions competing for glory and recognition. With stakes high and the competition fierce, it was bound to be an exciting week of events. The much-awaited events the first day of the festivities certainly did not disappoint. The opening salvo was started with an interfaith gathering at 8 a.m., which was followed by a ribbon-cutting ceremony at 10 a.m. These events set the tone for the day and paved the way for the exciting competitions that followed. At 2 p.m., the Grand Parade kicked off. The headdress competition, float competition, and banner raising went along with the said parade. Later in the evening, at 7.10 p.m., the participating faculty's banners were raised, marking the start of the evening events. The bench yelling competition at 7.30 p.m. had the participants' vocal prowess and team spirit on display, and the Mardi Gras event at 8 p.m. was a riot of colors. The mess dance at 8.30 p.m. was the perfect way to end the day, as everyone danced the night away. Our team of reporters was on the ground to bring you these insights and behind-the-scenes coverage of the Intramural 2023 at Green Valley College Foundation Incorporated. We can't wait to see what the rest of the Intramurals has in store. Now, let's take a closer look at each of those events that took place on day one. For the Interfaith Gathering, the atmosphere was electric as the event started with the opening and closing prayer led by Sir Arnold Greco. Reverend Jonathan C. Arya then took to the stage to deliver a powerful message centered on the theme of shaping up for God's agenda. The participants and audience listened instantly as the preacher challenged them to align their thoughts and actions with God's plan for their lives. His inspiring message set the tone for the intramurals, reminding everyone of the importance of striving for excellence in all aspects of their lives, including their participation in the games. The opening program was a beautiful and meaningful start to the intramurals as it brought everyone together in faith and purpose. The ribbon cutting ceremony for this year's intramurals was also a momentous event. The ceremony was led by none other than college president, attorney R.J. Sustigan, 
who performed the honor of cutting the ribbon to officially mark the start of the games. The participants and spectators cheered as the ribbon fell, symbolizing the beginning of the highly anticipated intramurals. Master of Ceremonies Sir Genesis Lumangtad kept the audience engaged and entertained throughout the program. He welcomed everyone to the event and expressed his excitement for what's to come in the coming days of the GVC Intramural 2023. The ribbon cutting ceremony was a special moment that brought together the entire community in a celebration of unity, sportsmanship, and camaraderie. It was a moment that signaled the start of the games and the beginning of a thrilling journey that will surely be filled with excitement and action. The parade of the intramurals took place at 2 p.m. and it was a sight to behold. The parade started at the front of the Green Valley College and ended at the South Cotabato Sports Complex. The participants showcased their creativity and talent in their respective fields. Traffic enforcers were present to manage the traffic, ensuring the safety of everyone. The float competition was one of the highlights of the parade and the entries did not disappoint. Each float showcased unique designs, showcasing the creativity and artistry of the participants. The headdress contestants also showed off their headpieces, which were made of colorful feathers, beads, and other materials. The banner raising participants also joined the parade, and they did not disappoint with their banner designs. During the parade, the participants of the Mardi Gras and the mass dancers added more energy and excitement to the already lively atmosphere. It was truly a remarkable day filled with fun and excitement. I'm Rosian Esteban from House Lannister, uh, representing the School of Engineering and Technology for the year. This is my like, uh, eight or seven years. This is my second course. I graduated uh, IT, my IT at Green Valley College, then I proceeded to mechanical engineering. So far, this is amazing. I know, napaka ganda kasi nga after two years na pandemic, uh, Green Valley nagstana na naman para sa pagbabalik ng intramuras for colleges. Kaya this is amazing kasi maraming uh, exciting na mga events na na-prepare ng SSC. More or less nasa 3 weeks lang yung preparation. Kaya so far sa so nakita natin from the from the parade until now, napakaganda nung flow ng program nila. Kaya napakaganda ng preparation ng other courses. Yes, ang event namin is, uh, since I am the president for the School of Engineering and Technology, so hinawakan ko yung float uh, design. So, so far kami naman yung nanalo kami yung ng champion for this intramural. Since ngayon lang bumalik talaga yung School of Engineering for float, kasi nga may ibang course na talaga na, na nangingibabaw. So, great ko sa aming float is, more or less nasa 9 kasi nga kailangan pa natin ng improvement para uh, dagdagan pa mapa, ma, mabigyan pa ng magandang design yung susunod na uh, uh, float competition One of the most exciting events that took place after the Grand Parade was the banner racing competition It was an energetic display of sportsmanship and pride as the different houses showcased their banners The crowds were cheering as the banner racers Hoisted their department's fabric of pride. The atmosphere was filled with excitement as the competitors raced towards the finish line. Their efforts paid off as the crowd was amazed by the spectacular displays. That event was a true testament to the spirit of unity and camaraderie among the students and faculty of GVC. Uh, 
Saira May Yasmin Gerson, second year BSTN. First time you po bang sumali sa in drums ng Green Valley? Yes po. Oh, so gaano katagal po ang preparation niyo para sa event? May um, kinalihan po ba kayo? Meron po. Sa float po, may, um, one week po kami nag-prepare sa, para sa float. Rate from 1 to 10, 1 as the lowest, 10 as the highest. How confident you are na mananalo kayo? Siyempre 10. Char, nakita mo sa amon tayo. Amon tong gold. I'm Shena Villaray, BA, uh, ano, MM2. First time you po bang sumali sa in-drums ng Green Valley? Kamusta naman po ang experience so far, lalo na first day ng in-drums? Okay lang, pero pag pagod, pero ano naman, maganda yung performance namin. Kung ano pong ano, event ang sinalingan, mas dan sa kayeling. Gano'n po katagal ang preparasyon nyo para doon? Mga about 2 weeks? After the energizing banner rating ceremony, the crowd's excitement did not die down as the bench yelling competition followed suit. It was one of the most cheerful parts of the day as all the contestants chanted their cheers with corresponding choreography and props. Each team's supporters were cheering loudly, trying to outdo each other's chants. The participants truly gave their all in this competition, making it an unforgettable experience for the spectators. The bench yell competition showcased the unity, creativity, and competitive spirit of the different houses. As the sun began to set, the Mardi Gras portion of the intramural started to come to life. The performers clad in vibrant and colorful costumes took the center stage and showcased their dancing prowess. It was a sight to behold, especially with the darkness gradually setting in, adding more flair to the already colorful and joyful festival. Um, Morrissey last safe grade 12 years. And um, uh, first time you po bang sumali sa Intrang San Green Valley? Second time na po kay since grade 11, pero wala akong event na sinabi. Okay, kamusta naman po ang experience so far, lalo na first day pa lang po? Nang enjoy ka last year ko sa buong mga may nasalian ng event. Um, gaano katagal po ang preparasyon nyo para sa event? Mga 2 to 3 weeks. Okay. Rate from 1 to 10. 1 Six. is the lowest, 10 is the highest. How confident you are na mananalo kayo? Mm, 10? Siguro kayo, siyempre confidence ka mo. Siyempre, hindi ka mapapilde mo. <laughs> so, Ano po yung event na sinalihan niyo? Mass dance. Ako si Rodelyn Gilio, first year BLS Criminology. Ma'am, first time niyo po bang sumali sa entrance ng Green Valley? Opo. Ano pong event ang sinalihan niyo? Bench healing. Gaano po katagal yung preparation niyo para sa event? One week ata. Rate from 1 to 10, 1 as the lowest, 10 as the highest. How confident you are uh, na mananalo kayo? 9.5 Last question po, kamusta po yung, kamusta po yung experience niyo so far? Lalo na first day pa lang ng interrupts? Um, enjoy kayo, syempre damo kami nakasalamuwa nga ibang niya department kag damo kami nakilala pa nga mga ibang mo namon niya ka department. One of the most exciting events that capped off the day was the mass dance competition. Despite the nightfall, the energy of both the participants and the crowd remained high. The teams gave their best performances as they danced to the beat of the music, showcasing their creativity and teamwork. The synchronized movements of the masked dancers were truly a sight to behold, with each team giving it their all to win the coveted title of Mass Dance Champion. The Mass Dance competition truly brought a sense of unity and camaraderie among the GVC students as they all worked together to put on a great show. Uh, my name is Juanita Magyari, I'm um, BSS English, 2nd year college. 
First time niyo po bang sumali sa Intrams ng Green uh, Valley? This is my second time na sumali sa Intrams. Kamusta okay. naman po ang experience so far, lalo na first day ng Intrams? Uh, so far, so good kasi ano, um, lahat competitive, um, lahat nagsunoporta, and then merong ano, um, um, unity. Gaano katagal po ay ang preparasyon niyo sa sinalian niyo po at, at anong event po ito? Um, almost three weeks and ano, um, ang sinalo ko pong ano, event this first day of Antigradis Mardi Gras. Rate from 1 to 10, 1 as the lowest and 10 as the highest. How confident you are na mananalo ang department niyo? Um, if marirate ko siya um, according sa so, sayo ng talina, um, I think 8.9 as um, na ano na mananalo yung one standard. Marami kasi nga ano, competitive na department niyo. That's all. first day of the Green Valley College Intramurals 2023 ended with a bang as a spectacular fireworks display lit up the night sky. The energy from the mass dance competition carried over as the crowd gathered to witness the colorful and dazzling display of pyrotechnics. It was fitting end to a fun-filled and action-packed day of competitions and events. Participants and spectators alike were surely looking forward to the exciting events and activities lined up for the remaining days of the Intram Girls. The GVC Intramural 2023 was a fun and successful day with many different competitions and events, from the opening program to a breathtaking fireworks display. We saw the different Game of Thrones inspired houses show off their skills and talents in creative and amazing ways. This year's theme line was Green Valiants, Pursuing Dreams and Fostering Resilience in the Face of Adversity. The event was also held at the same time as the institution's 10th Leadership and 27th Pagtukod celebrations. Once again, I'm John Lester Balgos, and that was the Green Valley College Intramurals 2023, Day 1.
Valley College Foundation Corporation.